Hey, what's up everyone? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, today I got a brand new video specifically for the Steam Deck. I've been waiting to do this. Um, luckily enough, there's been an update, so there's a one step I don't have to do anymore, which wasn't hard prior, but um, I'm glad I waited nonetheless. Um, it's called Steam Deck or Decky Loader. Um, Decky Loader is a homebrew plug-in launcher for the Steam Deck. It can be used to stylize your menus, change system sounds, adjust your screen saturation, change additional system settings, and more. So I got my Steam Deck already hooked up to my gaming monitor, which is an MSI gaming monitor. Um, I'm using my um, Steam Deck port that I bought off of Amazon, which I'm loving. I have my um, keyboard and my mouse already hooked up to the back of the Steam Deck port. Um, so we're good to go. So I'm going to show you how to get this stuff going. I'm going to go down here to Steam. Go to Power. Give this a few seconds. Switch over. Now I'm going to um, bring you guys to the Steam Deck because when you first launch into um, like the desktop area for the Steam Deck, you're going to get this on your screen, what's right in front of you. Um, I can move my mouse, um, as you can tell. This acts as like a second monitor. So the first monitor is actually the Steam Deck itself. This is the second monitor. What we need to do is kind of mirror um, the Steam Deck um, so it can pop up on the main monitor. So I'm going to um, put you guys down and I'm going to show you. All right, from here, um, what you want to do is you want to go to your settings, system settings, scroll all the way down to system display, mo display and uh, monitor. As you can tell right here, I'm going to click that. This is, this is the screen that's from Valve. This is my MSI gaming monitor. Now from here, you want to click on um, whatever gaming monitor you got, whatever monitor you have. Click on that. I changed mine from 60 hertz to 144, and I'm going to um, do a replica of the built-in screen, which is the screen you're looking at right now. I'm going to hit apply. This pops up. Um, the same exact view as we have on the Steam Deck. But this is going to be our first monitor right here, which is my MSI monitor. So I already downloaded and um, installed Firefox onto uh, the system itself. Um, what we want to do, we want to start type in Decky. Oop, I didn't mean to move you guys. I wish there was a way where I could record the screen um, for this instead of using my GoPro. It's probably really, really difficult for you guys to see. All right, once you're here at the GitHub page, you, this is what the Decky Loader is. Um, you're more than welcome to read this on your own. Um, it tells you how to install it. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, you can uninstall it too if you don't want this um, application anymore. Um, when we install this, you want to do um, the latest re uh, release. So what you want to do here, go to download.
All right, installer is finished. Install finished. Installer can be now closed. Let's close out of this. Let's move the trash. X to close. Let's minimize that. Actually. Open the return the gaming mode shortcut on your desktop. We could always um, done this um, copy and pasted this into the control. But instead we just downloaded um, the file up here instead. Hey, what's up? Um, we're back at the uh, dashboard of the um, Steam Deck. Um, what you want to do is you want to hit the, the button on the right hand side right underneath the touchpad and as you can tell right there with the socket um, that's the steam deck or decky whatever you want to call it and there's a cog right there just hit a and this is pretty much everything's all pretty much all set up for you um, you can read the uh, what's changed uh, if you like um, so I'm just hit B Let's see if there's any updates even though I just grabbed a new update Oh, I guess this is an update. That's good. Hopefully this won't take too long. Then we can start downloading our plugins um, to uh, change up the Steam Deck the visually and um, auto and auto wise as well. All right. So I'm gonna hit the three buttons again. Scroll down. Right from there. Actually, I didn't explain. When you hit the three buttons, I apologize. When you go down to the little um, plug, um, if you move over to this, looks like a little house or a mushroom, hit A. And then it's going to show you everything that you could download. Animation. You want to change your animation um, changer from the startup to something. Like, um, you've seen in, like, the Reddit threads, you're more than welcome to do that. Audio loader. Unsure what Flatjack is. Flat packs, actually. I'm a Windows guy. I'm not really into Linux. I never understood it. I hear it's a lot easier than Windows. So let's find... Control 2 is no... Deck facts. Discord status. Um, bunch of bunch of homebrew stuff, which is great. I believe. Pause game, power tools, proton batch. This would be good, um, so you can so you know what games work on the on the Steam Deck. I, I want to say PlayStation Vita, PS Vita. So I'm so used to doing Vita stuff, but um, proton. I'm gonna install this. Let's install. It's a back. Share decky. Steam Grid database. Easily browse and manage Steam artwork. Um, so if you like, say you have like Nintendo ROMs, Genesis, old school ROMs that don't have cover art or can't get it, you could um, get cover art from Steam Steam Grid database. This has been an issue with that. Nintendo's trying to take down like the images. Like Nintendo does, they always want to take stuff down from people. Vibrant Dent, vi Vibrant Dent, yeah. Vibrant Deck is um, change the color saturation. So the one I want to go to is going to be the CSS loader. Hopefully this doesn't take too long either. Oh, good, they didn't. Now you can download themes for your Steam Deck. I apologize if you could hear my neighbor. Either it's coming from next door or downstairs from me. He or she loves to blast their, their movies like really loud. They have no respect whatsoever. And the floor shakes too. So it sucks. And plus if you could hear the rain, it's raining up here in Connecticut. 
Um, let's see. What to what to download? What to download? Oh, you can download RGB keyboard. That's cool. We theme. Actually, let's see. Let's type in. Let's see if anything pops up. I guess not. Apologize, guys. This is my first time using this, too. Hmm. Sip in. I know. There we go. Go ahead and install the switch like home. Okay. Let's go to back. We might need a reboot. Yeah, I think we got to reboot. So let me reboot this. Restart. Did I turn this off or on? I guess it's on. No friends, I'm not unsure. I'm unsure what that does. See the background now. Let's hit the three buttons again. Let's turn this off. As you tell, when you turn it off and on, um, the main image um, heightens, well, it raises up. So that's off. Gold. Okay. So this drops it down so the background image um, shows a little bit more. See what else is in here. Let's see what Obsidian is. This theme is based off the pure black, black themes commonly created by. All right, SD icon hider, fonts, no achievements badge, tweak. Let's go to the download bar. Oh, I apologize for smacking my lips. I got a comment about that. Guess it's just a habit. We all have bad habits, and I guess that's one of them.
Hmm. It's different. Let's see what the Wii theme looks like. I never owned a Wii, so. Oh, it's bright. Kind of a more of a dark kind of person, anyway. There's a frosted glass effect of various UI elements, include a proton da database. Alright. Well, as you can tell, that is the colors of the Steam Deck interface to a few predetermined colors matching that run. Let's give this a whirl. Let's go back. I like the rounded um, pictures. All right, let's hit the three buttons. All right, intensity is at 10 PX. Yes, it is broken. It doesn't work on here, unfortunately. Well, the neon colors are kind of cool. Oop. See, with the outrun theme, you could turn button colors off and on and font. So there's a lot to customize with that round. Um, like I said, it's on 10px. You could do square if you want. That's cool. Let's see. So I'm going to manage themes. I'm going to delete the outrun. That's simple as that. Deck themes account. No, I don't have the deck themes account. I might have to check, log, uh, look into that actually. But I do like the the circle images, the rounded um, borders. Now that's cool. But yeah, this is um, decky loader. Or decky, whatever you want to call it. Um, just so much customization with this now. I'm actually glad I, I bought this Steam Deck. It, it's the most expensive one they had that I decided to purchase. Let's see. Manage themes. I mean, you could spend quite some time just going through every single little thing here. Call for recent. It's, a, it's great. I love this. Um, I don't plan on installing Windows um, like most people do so they can get around um, s some things and whatnot. Um, I believe Val said not to change um, the SD, no, not the SD, but the hard drive as well. I'm not going to be doing that either. Um, I really use an SD card instead if I need uh, more storage. So those two things I won't be able to, I'm not going to do. Unless something happens, or I don't know, but this is what Decky Loader looks like. So this is cool. Let's see what this is. More library icons. Change the amount of games displayed on the library from five games per row to six games per row. Kind of looks like um, if you have like Amazon Prime with the movies or Netflix or something. So um, this is what Decky Loader is. This is what the customization is for CSS. Um, Proton badge is great, so you know what games work on the um, Valve Steam Deck and what, what games don't. Um, just because they don't say it's they're playable, you can still play them. But it's going to be up to you whether or not um, they're playable or not, depending on what game you pick. So that's it. Thanks, guys.